Now let's turn to David Trim for a look at Adventist history. This week, learn about the first Seventh-day Adventist baptism in southern India. Welcome to This Week in Adventist History. On March 29, 1910, Howard M. Lee and his wife Carrie arrived in Sunan, Korea to begin Adventist educational work in that country. They worked in Korea for 26 years with Lee heading the Korean Union Workers Training School, the ancestor of Samyuk University. Four days later, on April 2, 1910, American missionary Judson S. James conducted the first Adventist baptism in southern India. James baptized 20 Tamil-speaking converts, 16 men and 4 women, in the Tutukoran district of Tamil Nadu on the far southeast coast of India. Over the next four years, those converts spread across southern India, winning converts in Kerala and Karnataka as well as Tamil Nadu. Also on April 2nd, but 60 years later, in 1970, a new Adventist hospital, the Antillians Advent Ziekenhaus, or Antillian Adventist Hospital, officially opened in Curaçao, in the Dutch Antilles. Today it is a 47-bed hospital which last year treated just over 20,000 patients. On April 4, 1874, a new local Adventist church was organized in Napa, California. This was fruit of the first evangelistic campaign launched by the California Conference which had just been founded in 1873. The conference arranged for a big tent crusade in Napa which baptized 50 people. This was the start of the Adventist presence in the Napa Valley. Among its important Adventist landmarks are St. Helena Sanitarium and Hospital, Elmshaven, Ellen White's last home, and Pacific Union College. That was this week in Adventist history.